Good morning. Uh, this devotion is for May 17th, and we're still in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, and we're looking at verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And the title for today's devotion is Think About These Things. In the book of Proverbs, Solomon said, says, As a man thinks within himself, so he is. As we think, we are. Every one of us wakes up every single morning and we wake up with a perspective. We wake up with a perspective of the world around us, ourselves, people that we're close to, people we're not close to, how definitions of fairness and rightness and wrongness and do do you get my point? We have our minds. What if it's, what if it's true that many say that the, the true battle that the enemy has is for our mind? And hence, we have to put on the helmet so that we might be protected. Because as we think, so we are. If the enemy can get us to think a falsehood, if he can get us to think about something that's not true, our life is going to tumble down a path that's not true. Because as we think within ourselves, so we are. And so Paul has been telling the Philippian church that, that, you know, Forgetting what lies behind, you strain forward for what is ahead. He has told them not to be anxious about everything, anything, but in all things, be praying to the Lord and know that he's present. He's been telling them that the peace of God that passes all human understanding will guard their hearts and their minds. And then he says, finally, brothers, if you're going to think about anything, think about things like this. Things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, praiseworthy. Set your sights on these things. So so let me just close with, with this thought. If it is true that every single day, every single one of us wakes up and we step out into life with a perspective, ought we not test whether the perspective is true. Maybe we've got some wrong views of ourselves. Maybe we have some wrong views of people in our lives. Maybe we have some wrong views because the enemy is whispering some lies into our ears and we need to correct our perspective. One of the ways to do that is to ask yourself, as you think about yourself, as you think about others, as you think about your life, Are you putting it through the filter of truth and nobility and rightness and purity and love and admiration and excellence and praiseworthiness? Maybe these are the things that we should filter our thoughts through so that we can take every thought captive and all of a sudden our minds will be no longer captive to to the kingdom of this world, will be set free to the kingdom of God. Well, I encourage you to read the devotion attached, and I pray that this devotion is a blessing to you. Have a firmly rooted day.